Hey there folks, I uh, want to do a quick spotlight vid for you guys. Um, what I have here is an EDC Hank. This one is from uh, VanHanks.com. Um, this is actually a member of the knife community. Uh, Jamie, the maker of the Van Hanks, is married to Lewis. And Lewis is a big EDC guy. He's a follower of most knife nuts like us. He's a follower of mine. He actually identified himself as one of my followers. But Lewis, I knew you were a follower. I recognize every time you liked my posts or you commented on my vids. So I know you're a longtime follower. And it's kind of cool that someone from the knife community is actually making something uh, that we can use. You know, I've always been I've been curious about this uh, this EDC Hank thing. Everyone's getting making Hanks. There's a couple of makers now. Lewis was kind enough, Lewis and Jamie was kind enough to send me one of their Hanks. They're, they're a fairly new company. Uh, again, it's just the two of them doing it. So it's kind of special that somebody from our knife community is actually making something dedicated for us, right? Now, why, why? I've been hemming on about it, thinking about it and like, why do we need EDC Hanks? Why do we need handkerchiefs in this day and age? Uh, well, that's what I want to discuss, right? I mean, traditionally, hanks were used, handkerchiefs were used by gentlemen, right? If they wanted to assist a young lady that was uh, at a funeral or sneezing or crying or what have you, and they needed something to wipe their tears or their schnoz or whatever, the gent, right? If you guys don't know, because I don't know if you're a millennials or what, but in my time, I did carry EDC, especially as a young person, you know, and that's what we did. That's what we carried. And uh, you would give it to the, the, the person that needed it, preferably a young lady. They would use it. And, of course, they're not going to give it back to you, right? They're going to wash it. It's like stalking them, guys. It's like stalking them. <laughs> it's like you give them that hank. They blow their nose. They wipe their teeth. And now they want to wash it for you. They want to give it back to you someday. So it's kind of like reverse stalking. Now they got to find you to return your handkerchief. Well, we can keep that alive. With the EDC Hanks. I kid, of course. I kid. Uh, most handkerchiefs, of course, are could be symbolic of your social status. So if you're a businessman, if you work in uh, Wall Street or you're a trader or whatever, you're going to have some fancy silk handkerchief, right? Something softer, kind of like themselves. And if you're uh, a work guy, a uh, ham and negger, kind of like us, most of us, EDC guys, you might want something a little bit tougher, a little more durable. You might want to use cotton, polyester, or linen, right? You might want something a little bit more durable, uh, you know, to accommodate whatever you do in life, whatever your work uh, necessitates, right? Uh, and there's also different social uh, stratus for, uh, for, for EDC guys, right? There's the users, the collectors, and the flippers. So you might want to use the Hanks... Again, accordingly. So what can you use? For? What can they be used for? What can they be used for? It could be a washcloth, right? Dry the sweat off your brow when you're working. Uh, you can use it personally. I think what I would do is make it like a dedicated EDC rag for like my, uh, where's, where's my rag? For my, you know, to clean. Especially I ordered, I ordered this one. This one has a coarser side, so it's two-sided. This one is cotton. I think this one's, um, I believe this is more, uh, what do you call this material? Polyester, maybe? Maybe. I, I could be wrong. But it's definitely a little tougher than this side. This is softer, nicer for your face. And this one's more EDC friendly for your knives, whatever. So you can use this as a dedicated. If you're not going to hand this off to a nice young lady, you have another handkerchief for that. You can use this as an EDC rag, right? And use that as a dedicated EDC uh, cloth to wipe down your knives. Um, I don't know, there's so many things. I was trying to rack my brain what can you use it for. You can use it for first aid. If you get a cut, right, you can hold the blood. You can stop it, make a blood clot. Uh, yo, uh, today you might have seen my post. I used it as a backdrop, you know, for a knife. Took a picture. Now they have different styles. Uh, you can look at their website. I'll put the link below. So diff different, different uh, uses for it. Different backdrops, whatever you want, you know. So, um, yeah, it's a couple of things you can do. You could be, you could, you could be stylish, you know. What I discovered I like using this for, right? I like to fold it 
small. This is a quick on the go. Now, you know I've been stubbying. Ooh, look at that. You can use a stubby. You can use this as a pouch for the stubby, right? You can throw it in there. In. And if you got another stubby, because you're a real stubby nut job, throw that in there. Nice, nice, nice. All separated. You can move them around. You don't want to get them scratched up with the, what other items you have in your pockets, your coins, right? That's a nice quick little... Guys are going nuts. A little quick pouch for your, your, your EDC toys, your EDC knives. Guys are going crazy paying 40 bucks for like pouches. You know how much this Hank was? 20 bucks. 20 bucks, you can get a couple of them. You can, you can, you know, use them differently, daily, whatever you want to do, right? You can also, again, you can, again, I like using it as a pouch, a quick EDC pouch. If you got a knife that doesn't have a clip, you want to pop that sucker in there. Again, keep it separate from the stubby. Doesn't get scratched. Throw in your pocket. You're good. You're good to go. You good to go. So what else? What else? What else? Oh, what else? What else can I do with this thing? Oh, oh. So I made this thing for the fruit. This is a nice flask for his lemon cello. That's his dog, Dudley. Hello, Dudley. I autographed it by Noosh. This thing is big enough to accommodate this flask. What? Stick it in there. Keep the bourbon, the lemon cello, nice and cold or warm or protected. If it leaks, the Hank will absorb it. I don't know. You guys can think of other things to use it for. But it's a pretty cool thing. Go check them out. I'll put the link below. Thank you, Jamie and Lewis, for being awesome EDC knife nuts. Peace.